All right, guys, here's some quick tips for clear coating. So clear coating is the final coat you put on your wood to make it uh, more durable and kind of give it a nice coat. I don't know if you can see this one has been clear coated with a matte water-based clear coat. I like the matte because I don't like it to be too shiny, but even the matte has a little bit of sheen to it. So tip number one is parchment paper. Uh, before I clear coat, I got this huge roll of parchment paper from Costco, uh, but you can get it from Walmart, you can get it from anywhere. It's the same paper you bake on, and I roll that out, I give myself a nice surface to work with, uh, so my the stuff doesn't stick to it. When I was using regular paper, uh, it would dry, and even, on, even if I didn't do the bottom, the edge would stick to the paper and rip. So I don't have that problem anymore. Parchment paper. Number two, I got this a uh, piece of wood that I cut at a in a triangle. Uh, let me show you the end of it. So it's just a triangle and I can set my work on there to dry so it's not touching directly on the ground and I have a little bit of a gap underneath of it. The next tip is I buy these little containers from Walmart. I think they're only a couple bucks and I use them to put the clear coat in, the water base dries so fast that it, it becomes gummy around the edges. You don't want that on your can because it falls inside and when you're wiping your brush, it, it sticks to the brush. When I'm done with the containers, I let the clear coat dry around the edges. I actually coat the edges and then I peel it out and it looks this good when you're done with it. When you try to wash it out, it makes it a lot harder. So I just let it dry, peel it out. It's kind of fun like when you were a kid and you just put glue on your hands and uh, peel it off. Next tip is I got these syringes off of Amazon. I think these were also a couple bucks for like a five pack. And I use these to pull the clear coat out of the big can and then squirt it into several of these little uh, Tupperware containers. Okay, my next tip is I use these sponge brushes. I get them from Walmart for like $3 for a pack of, I think 20 and I can wash them because it's water-based. And when I do these, you, 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 I'm, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand, but you, you want to go over the area and you don't want to keep going back over it because it'll, it gets sticky really fast. And even if you messed up a little, you're going to sand this. You're going to do more than one coat. 